uh, representing today open data editor previously frictions application and uh, it's a no code application like for working with uh, different types of data um, and it's based on uh, the data package standard and uh, other uh, standards like Vegalite and uh, your special standards like to uh, uh, etc. Uh, but the core is that the package for uh, metadata and also lately we added the support for uh, generative AI, which is a uh, like which adds like a lot of nice uh, features and uh, applications for the for the open data editor. So I'm going to show it today. Uh, yeah, so first of all, I'm going to share our uh, concept node uh, for the open data editor. So moving, uh, can you see the slides? Yes. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so um, uh, we've been working on the on this project for like more than a year, and uh, uh, we kind of like uh, we are adjusting the goals of the project step by step. And currently, uh, after you know a lot of uh, like conversations and uh, uh, feedback from a different uh, group of people, uh, we kind of like thinking about uh, focusing on making uh, data data accessible for everyone. For example, uh, as Oleg mentioned, teaching like data literacy and uh, helping like small organizations like GLAM communities and others uh, to, you know, to start doing some you know, proper data management uh, even though uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, those people you know don't have any resources for it like in a small municipality or, or in a library so currently uh, we're focusing on helping uh, those people to start uh, cleaning data validating data publishing data uh, Initially, I think we were thinking more about uh, creating uh, a tool for uh, like engineers, like data pipeline or something. But there are so many uh, good tools there, especially in Python for uh, for this. Uh, that um, if we kind of like support it, we, we might be you know trying to be. Just a kind of like a wrapper for some tool, maybe DBT or something, but uh, we don't we don't want you know to recreate the view, and we want to focus currently on the this uh, goal making like data management for humans available. <laughs> um, so yeah, open knowledge, we are. So probably you know that's a global organization, and we will be uh, meeting our. Uh, Anniversary like next next year it will be like twenty years already, and uh, to open knowledge, second uh, born open definitions so and other uh, projects like that package. So uh, our mission is trying to build a free and sustainable open infrastructure uh, like for future. So. The problem, the problem that um, there is still like no tool to easily work with data, and uh, there are really good uh, software like Open Refine or Dataset uh, by Simon Wilson uh, and others, but uh, we found that still, you know, it's it might be too techy. Like for technical people or not like user friendly, and uh, 
that's the problem we would like to solve with Open Data Editor, at least uh, starting to solve. So let's open Data Editor. It's a tool that uh, won't require basically any technical skills to do basic data management, including uh, expo uh, data exploration, validation, like description, publishing, etc. So uh, let me show uh, main features. And uh, of course, uh, as we work with data, for us, uh, the main uh, data type is tabular data. So of course, Open Data Editor uh, focuses on uh, tabular data. So uh, in the application, you can explore it, uh, open like or upload different kind of CSV Excel files. It can open like really big ones because because it uses uh, um, database uh, under the hood, similarly to CCAN. Uh, you can validate, see the errors, and uh, as it based on data package, uh, you can edit metadata. So. I think a few months ago, we had a really interesting uh, session on the uh, committee call about uh, really weird CSV published by uh, German uh, municipalities. So that's uh, where, for example, metadata editing, editing can help. Uh, so if you have a CSV, no, like no other software can open, uh, like playing with metadata, uh, CSV dialect, for example, here, can help uh, to open this uh, file and also to declare these rules of opening. Then you can share, for example, these rules as a uh, uh, metadata uh, with your colleagues and uh, it will work for everyone making data uh, interoperable. So, uh, but Open Data Editor, uh, not on, uh, sorry, but, but yes, as mentioned, uh, we added AI support, so uh, as here you can see, you can now use uh, the create uh, button to use uh, AI to generate, for example, CCs for you, but I'll show it later. Um, but the Open Data Editor, not only about uh, table or data, you can uh, create visualizations here using uh, Vega Light uh, notation. Uh, it has a um, um, uh, form uh, based editor for the charts, but also uh, with AI support, uh, it can uh, you can you know um, create charts without uh, doing any um, kind of like without uh, knowing anything about uh, Vega Light specification or without digging into these uh, forms because uh, visualization um, I don't know. If, Probably many of you tried a lot of visualization tools, and it's always hard. Even like the simplest uh, bar chart, it's always you know you open Apache Superset, and you you know you you need like ten minutes to understand how to create a, a simplest chart, even though it's kind of a really friendly app. So, but also I'll show later how we can use uh, AI here. Um, Open Data Editor also supports. Uh, maps based on uh, GeoJSON and TopoJSON specifications. So you can just open it or again generate um, arbitrarily files. Uh, so uh, why it's important? Uh, uh, because I think in tools like OpenRefine, you can do a lot of things with, uh, as Augusto said on CCConf, it's a nice cat. It's, it's nice, still nice, right? <laughs> Um, uh, so open fine great tool but uh, I think it's like really limited and focused on tabular data but uh, in reality like if you check basically like any CCAN published data set it's not only like CSV tables it's, it, it comes with uh, uh, like readmes uh, so markdown uh, images, uh, other documents. So to be able to handle like all the 
uh, use cases for data management, we, of course, need to be able to handle a lot of data types. And uh, uh, in, in, in Open Data Editor, like for like images, it's it's only like you can see the like open the image and uh, add the metadata, but uh, then you can add it to the data package and publish it as a as a part of data set. Um, so yeah, uh, I think also really nice feature of uh, Open Data Editor is data storytelling. So uh, you can um, use Markdown, but you can also embed uh, your files from your project, images, uh, charts, maps. And um, we're currently uh, we're thinking about a simple way to publish data stories on a platform of like a pop pop or something like this. And of course, data sets, we're talking about like a classical uh, data publishing to probably include Seeken or Zenodo or something like this. So in Open Data Editor, you just prepare your data, you uh, create a data package, add files there, add some metadata, and uh, you can publish to, for example, Seeken from the Open Data, Open Data Editor uh, directly. So uh, we can think about uh, this application as a Seeken or Zenodo UI just making it uh, easier to work uh, on uh, on the data sets there. Okay, so yeah, as we think we can solve the problem of uh, data tools not being you know accessible for everyone and open knowledge been working on this front uh, really like hard lately. Uh, on Open Data Editor and on other projects, and uh, so what we what we are now today next week we're releasing uh, Open Data Editor version one. So this version is a so called for early adapters. So um, it will be great to get. Uh, this round of uh, testing feedback ideas from uh, uh, first users and uh, first people using the application. And uh, we will be uh, looking for funding opportunities. And if you know something, you just let us know, uh, especially with a lot of new opportunities for AI related uh, software. Uh, so we, we would like to work on the version one or version two of the application uh, based on the feedback because we I guess we need to, to still cover a lot of edge cages currently not covered and uh, we also really really into the idea of uh, creating Wikidata inter integration to make it easier to publish uh, data uh, to Wikidata. So. It was a short uh, concept note presentation. Um, I think I'll I'll do a quick demo. Hope it works. Okay, so here is uh, our new Open Data Editor website, and. Uh, we just finished uh, working on the documentation. Uh, currently, it covers uh, how to install the, the application and how to uh, work with different data types. Uh, it's uh, quite comprehensive, comprehensive already. So, but uh, here you can also um, find you found your. Uh, operational system and uh, there is instruction how to uh, get started so I'm going to the I'm going to the github to the releases and uh, as a Linux Ubuntu user I need to download one of the uh, 
Linux distributions. So I did it before. Um, and uh, I just run it as a normal uh, application, like, you know, like Zoom. So to start, you don't need to run any uh, command line or install Python. It, uh, it's everything is bundled inside the application. So as I already show, uh, showed uh, the interface. So again, uh, I think it it, uh, it 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 will take like way more time than we have to show everything, and uh, I think we will be, be uh, we will be creating uh, video tutorials later and going 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 on. So just again, we can open uh, tables, we can uh, find errors uh, there, see reports and. Um, images, maps, like data packages. Uh, so you, you can add metadata there, but I think uh, it, it would make sense to use this like five, I think five, around five minutes left for the presentation uh, to show some like interesting stuff. We can use AI and uh, on the documentation side, uh, there is instruction how to add your open API uh, open AI API key uh, to start using AI. So let's let's do it. Uh, I have already added my API key here, and for example, we can um, ask AI to create us some data. For example, um, let's say I'm asking to uh, I'm asking to add a, to create a CSV about women football. And actually I think it uh as based on how generative AI works, it will work on any language. So I didn't try yet, but uh, you can try on your own language asking uh, questions like this. So here we go. Uh, because uh, uh, just you know, a few months ago, I uh, realized that there is a superstar woman football player uh, called Marta. My colleague shared that she, she is a kind of like a real fan of Marta, and I started digging. So this Marta has a six golden balls, which kind of like amazing thing achievement in football. At least I'm not sure if. Any like main players have something like this, so we created this uh, CSV just using uh, AI, and, and we can um, ask ask AI to like to create bar chart, for example, for uh, all the files here have a uh, have a unique identifier, so. I uh, should have named this like, you know, Marta CSV, but it's table one. Okay, so we mention it, uh, we use mention bar chart for table one. I think it's enough to create some uh, visualization. Yeah, and uh, we can, if uh, it has a quite a comprehensive uh, Vega light form editor, so we can uh, use the form here to uh, customize our chart, but okay, we're too easy. So we just asked, we just ask AI to order bars by amount of golden balls and add two tips. Sometimes it worked. Sometimes it takes more time. Uh, sometimes it takes less time, but it's uh, normal to wait like uh, 10, 20 seconds. Also, I don't like the color. But usually, it's uh, if 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 you ask to like create a map 
uh, having like uh, all the capitals on the world, uh, it will take like a lot of time. Probably it, it just fail, but um, um, we can try a simpler like create a map in London and Paris. Mm, good. It seems to be cloudy, so the tooltip is not doesn't look good. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be back. Um, so um, so for example, here we already got a uh, like a chart, for example, and uh, a map. And what we can do, we can uh, start writing a story again. Uh, in a normal circumstances here, uh, normal situation, you will just write it, but uh, we have a time limit, so we ask AI to do so. We ask to write a story of, of the smarter football player. It's taking longer because it's a it's an article. So as a generative AI uh, works, it needs to you know write every word after each other. So it takes more time. And uh, okay, the the fold is broken, but we can fix it. It's let's draw it. You were just asking you know, to, to draw Marta for us. Oh, nice. I don't know what it's what title means. So so what what we're getting now, we got like a lot of uh, different uh files and we're writing article. It, normally it will be kind of like a data story, so we can start uh I connect everything uh, together. It's a uh, image one. Getting image one, then we can like add the map we created. We can have the uh, our. Or chart about uh, golden balls. Um, so that's here. I showed uh, like a fun part how you can uh, create data stories, but um, of course, uh, Open Data Editor just suffers a lot of more boring stuff. Uh, just uh, exploring tables, finding errors. Uh, Packing uh, data as data sets and, for example, like publishing to to CKN, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We will be working on, I think, video tutorials uh, for this. Um, okay, I think that's uh, it for now. Uh, let me let me stop sharing.